Hey, you gotta let him go, dog. <laughs> You're killing him now. Like, what? Daddy issue 2.0. That's what yeah. we're gonna go with. We'll this keep, is we'll, worse. We'll keep, his is way worse. That, what he just demonstrated is the worst case scenario for an officer. We're not here to serve your midlife crisis. This right. police department's not here to serve your want to be in the uniform. To finally job. satisfy your dad. Yeah, no. What is going on, Internet? Welcome to Only Cops. On this Officer's React, we are going to see Season 1, Episode 2 from Officer West, or uh, Officer Totally Not the Best perspective. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give our two cents. be an officer. <laughs> we'll give our two cents on him. I'm sure there's some redemption arc for this guy, but he's been pretty cringy thus far. Uh, come right to man with us, and we'll go see what he does. Officer Worst was right there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Officer Worst! I didn't think about that. Producer Juan, do the... Uh, no, I say leave it in there. Leave it yeah. in there right there, there. Ooh, Producer Juan came up with that. Don't yeah, let Josh don't, take credit. Don't give me credit. <laughs> it really was there. Right there. I didn't think of it either. Nothing good. I was reading over your report on the Officer Bradford shooting. First off, neither of you had your body cams on. Which I understand. You were under fire. What I don't understand is how Officer Lopez emptied two magazines striking the suspect in the leg. But Officer West... Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> If I may, Officer West did not have a protective position Why? to fire, so I urged him Zero to Zero reason. Why? Zero reason. Is there anything that you would like to add? No, ma'am. You have an opportunity. Pause it. That, what he just demonstrated is the worst case scenario for an officer, and that's a dishonest one. Mm -hmm. That is the worst case scenario. You were being And she set him up for it. Yes. Like... Mm, I don't know, dude. Not That's th like transparency. If you're gonna be an FTO, you have to judge your rookie yes. fairly. Yeah. You. Know, I'm not saying you have to like go in there and completely talk shit about him, but you can't like say that you said like. It, it worse, Imagine if their body cams were on. That's what I'm saying. Like. And also, why don't they turn on when or, there's gunshots? Or if Come if on, uh, Officer Bradford died. Yeah. Now, his, yeah. his decision wouldn't have changed his death or not, but let's say the lady dies. Yeah. The honesty and trust are the two biggest things that they're going to want from you. It's literally... That's bad on both their parts. That's what I'm getting at. And, like, like the, the, the almost every single academy instructor is going to say, the only thing I want you to not do is, is lie. lie. Yeah. Across also, the board. Also, seeing the way that they're treating Nolan. Yeah. And then you give this Bro. little worm, like... That way out? Like, come on. I don't know. I'm sure there's a redemption arc somewhere, but like it shouldn't have even happened, to be honest. He's not getting a redemption arc. Yeah. He yet. almost let a dog die because he wanted That's to run true. traffic so there bad. Is no okay. redemption. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. No. I didn't do it for you. The golden boy with the VIP dad flunks out on my watch. I can wait detective goodbye. Oh my detective god. Detective doesn't get killed. Failure is not an option. Okay. Yeah. I've been around guns my whole life. Never froze up before. It's different when they're shooting at you. Yeah, yeah, well now I know. Mm. But it, you it still lied happen. about it. Not good enough. I don't want to spend every call wondering if you're going to freeze up again. So today, you get proactive. Take all the high-risk calls and see how you do. You better do well. Uh, you're going to answer calls in your B. Now, that being said, depending on where you're at in your training, they will force you oh, to respond yeah, to yeah. calls. That's DWIs true. and stuff like that. That is true. They will force you to respond to calls even if it's out of beat for the sake of training. So it does make sense. So, but here's what's funny. She just said, well, I don't want to spend every shift wondering if you're going to freeze. You had your opportunity. Yeah. Like, yeah. but you're too worried about who his dad is. Yeah. I, I, and again, the, the, well, and also like she's making decisions based off of trying to get promoted. Yeah. Not off This of, is where the nepotism argument comes in. That's what I was getting at. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, well, and also just like that your interest is in promotion and there's two, there's two now. Well, and she feels that way because his dad works at the same department. Yep. Yep. Where we worked, you couldn't have a family member at the department. Also this like idea so, that failure is not an option. Is total bullshit. If if someone else's safety is predicated on your 
yeah. desired career choice. Yeah. It was the same lecture they gave to Nolan. Right. Hey, we're not here to serve your midlife crisis. This right. police department's not here to serve your want to be in the uniform. To finally job. satisfy your dad. Yeah, no. That's not... That's Another not, daddy issue. Yeah. That, you know what? 100%. Daddy issue 2.0. That's what yeah. we're going to go with. We'll his is worse. We'll keep, his is way worse. His is dangerous. Because he's not good. Loose Chen's in it to win it. Well, I'll, take, I'll take Daddy Issues 1 over For Daddy now. Issues 2 all day. What's going on? Red. 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 I'm surprised all these other cops aren't going to help. At all. Yeah. We tore that church up. Yeah. Also gloves oh, on. Who's this guy? Oh, he is a big one. What do we do here, Officer West? Wait for SWAT? <laughs> yeah. What's SWAT going to do? Gloves. And set the body temp through the roof. That's why he took off all his clothes. I mean, he's basically the Hulk, unable to feel pain. If you shoot him, it just makes him mad. Well, they'll die. That's what we need to do is calm him down. I'm not looking for a dissertation. You stop! I want to know how you're going to get him into cuffs and then our shop. I don't like this shot. Every time it hits it's weird. It's very weird. Gloves? <laughs> Okay. Look, I'm just gonna come a little bit closer, okay? No. Okay, hey, hey, no, we're good, we're good. It's okay. We're good, right? Listen to me, just a quick second. You're thirsty, right? You gotta be thirsty. Okay, you like water? I can get you water. Nice, refreshing water, right? Just put these bracelets on. Put these bracelets on and I will give you all the water that you want. Sweet, sweet water. Holy water. That did not work. No. Special ops, my ass. Bunch of meter mates. One thousand percent would have talked shit like that. Too. Oh yeah. Look like how yoked yeah. up that one guy yeah. was. Uh, if you're ever gonna have to take a combative step, like nobody's gonna. If it's just a hands-on environment, you're not setting a perimeter. The only, eight. the only person I've ever punched. While on patrol was on PCP. Yeah. He was not going in the handcuffs. But what I'm getting at is, like, you're also gonna get as many people as you can to help oh, get yeah. in custody. Like, you're not... That's... That's a very unrealistic scenario. Also really reckless, but we'll keep going. A member of the Aryan Nation who enjoys long walks on the beach and felony assault. Hope you're ready for a fight. Can't wait. This is not the same as an OIS, though. No. You're right. Too bad he wasn't home. I was in the mood to hook an area up. Oh, we're gonna go right back. Just need you to grab snacks first. Definitely some caffeine. Copy that. Bathroom? Thank Do I need a key for the bathroom? Thank you. Oh. Please. Well, he'd be knocked out. Cool. I hope he doesn't die, I guess. Oh, that wouldn't hurt that bad. Those punches wouldn't have felt great. Yeah. These punches are tearing you up. He's probably already oh, that he's knee. unconscious. At this that point. knee was going to be rough. Yeah. Okay. Wow, oh, come on. Come on. Oh, he's going to prison now. Yeah, can't do that. Yeah, rear naked choke, you're for sure going to prison. Hey, you gotta let him go, dog. Like, you're killing him now. Like, what? Uh, we were around at the time. We were on patrol when mm -hmm. those became uh, 
when vascular neck restraints became unkosher. Yeah. We were taught them. We still practiced them mm -hmm. and in service, but you were not allowed to do it unless it was a deadly force encounter. Uh, you can articulate the that deadly force close. encounter there. This guy was fucking him up. Yeah. I mean, he was getting tore up. Uh, you're probably getting knocked out by like 90% of those strikes, or at least days. That knee, bad. dude? Yeah. yeah. But that being said, I, I don't have a problem with the use of force. It's a little Hollywood of how long you held it after the guy stopped fighting. Yeah. It's a good way to kill somebody, uh, which is not the objective at that point. Um, and then as far as, uh, unless the field training officer didn't know he'd be there. Which is weird. Which like, is weird. The way it got played out. Yeah. It's just weird. Anyways, we'll keep going. Nice work today, Officer West. Thank you. You took a very bad man off the street. Proved you got some fight in you. So, seem we're good? Or... No, no ass. No. Still lied. Still lied. But we're getting there. Bro, you lied about an OIS. Like, yeah. <sighs> dishonesty is the biggest cancer... I just don't, I don't know. ...that could ever exist in a police department, period. Full stop, full set. That's really my big issue with that. Like, I understand... Like, just because he responded to two fights when you told him he had to respond to the fights... Sure. ...doesn't change the that, fact. That, that, like, you lied about an OAS. Yeah. Like, that breaches the trust that the community is placing on you to do the job and do the job right and then to also be held accountable for the way that you do said job yeah that's my only that's really my big issue i understand the narrative they're trying to play and yes this is a tv show yes there's going to be some hollywood stuff too that's fine but as a choice for things to be considered forgivable i'd forgive if he got him like like nolan is an idiot goes in too deep into something gets himself knocked out mm -hmm. and gets himself taken hostage Sure. Everyone's going to criticize you for you shouldn't be there. You got your right. butt kicked. Yeah. And we someone had to go and save you. That's one thing. But simply failing to do the job at potentially the detriment of other people. And it was like a like a serious, like an officer was shot. That there was, you know, the lady was taken hostage yeah. afterwards. But I, I would have like, just picked, picked something else for him to be criticized about. Yeah. Not honesty. Unless there's some bigger archer reason for it, whatever. And like, you what's the worst that happens if you bring up the OIS and his failure to act? He goes back for remediation. Sure. sure. He'll get another chance. It's yeah. not like they're gonna say, "Oh, you're done." I, 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 he needs training, or he needs to be put in an environment where he can figure out whether that's for him or not. I don't think it's fireable right off the bat. No. I have my strong feelings about it, but like in most situations, that's not going to be what fails you. Uh, but yeah. lying, right? About an OIS, like... Dude, that was the surest way to get yourself fired. 100%. So... Like, the it is absolute it is. most positive way. Yeah. Lie about something. Um, I'll tell you that. I, mean, I thought it was okay. Um, not a fan. I'm not a fan of that episode in general. Just you can tell we're not a fan of him. Yeah. In general. Maybe, just like I said... The, maybe just by the reactions yeah. we maybe, maybe there's a redemption arc in there. I just... As, <laughs> as a narrative to cover law enforcement activity, that's not something that we, what we should be... Seeing as a forgivable thing, and that's just as the public, I would I would give credence to anybody that gives criticism to the government for lying about what they're doing and potentially your detriment. I, I think yeah. that's a that's a very the, the whole a cab thin blue line conversation stems from activity like that. And if you're gonna get just as mad as the people that are that are planting drugs on people, that's dishonesty. You're leveraging for your own benefit. Mm -hmm. Like yes, are these two different things and two different consequences? Sure. But it's the same breach of trust that causes that type of stuff. I don't know. I have issues with it. Big issue. If you have disagreed with us, you're like, oh my god, he should have been forgiven. You can put it in the comment section below. You're wrong, but it's fine. Uh, if you guys have other types of episodes and things that you would like us to react to, put it in the comment section below. We do go live twice a week, every Monday and Thursday at 7.30 Central Standard Time. And if you'd like to be more involved with our community, you can join our Patreon group for as little as a dollar a month. I think I have like 50 Founders patches left at this point. Ooh. You guys can get some of those limited run patches if you're Not interested. Not for a dollar. And specifically, that gives you access to our Discord, which is how we facilitate most of this community. You have to be a higher um, member, though. That's true. To get a patch. Yeah. Anyways. Outside of that, until next time, thank you for riding two man with us. We'll see you next time. Peace.